underway and heading for Gaza, the Al Amal cargo ship. Al Amal means hope in Arabic. Fully loaded, it's carrying more than 2,000 tons of humanitarian aid and medicines, most of it donated by Greek companies and charities. The director of the foundation spoke to reporters before the departure. We are uh, uh, doing what we can. This is our responsibilities. If everyone just stands, hang us up there and say the, uh, the Israelis will not allow this, nothing will happen and the people of Gaza will continue under starvation. A dozen volunteers are on board along with 12 crew. The majority of the supporters are Libyan. They realize that the ship may be stopped by the Israeli Navy, but say their cargo is entirely non-threatening. We'll try to explain to, to, to the others that we're just helping the people just to give them. We have nothing in the ship except rice, oil, tomato, uh, that's flour, that's all what we have. We, di we didn't have uh, a weapon, we don't have guns, we don't have, you know, even small knife or something because we are came out for bees to help. It will be almost six weeks since an Israeli Navy boarding party clashed violently with volunteers aboard a Gaza-bound Turkish ferry. After the incident that involved the killing of supporters on the uh, Flotilla Freedom, I think the, uh, everyone now uh, is aware of international responsibilities and commitment and uh, what we are, do is do, we are doing under uh, uh, all uh, the legal humanitarian uh, approaches that are adopted everywhere and uh, uh, we hope that everything uh, will just uh, uh, move smoothly with no problems. Organizers say they will consider backup plans, including docking at an Egyptian port if they fail to reach Gaza. But for now, they plan to go ahead. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.